we've added a brand new element to the Thrive Editor and this element can help you improve your conversion. Hi, I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams and the element I'm talking about is the number counter element. The number counter will look something like this or like this. Or because we've added it to the Thrive Editor, which means that you can use it on landing pages, on your homepage, in blog posts, or even on opt-in forms, it could also look something like this. Now, as you can see, when an element like this is on the page, it will really attract the attention. And that is why it is very important to understand how to use this element correctly for conversions, because if you use it wrong, it might actually be really, really bad for your website. Now, before going into the do's and don'ts of how to use this element, let me show you exactly how this element works inside the editor. So first of all, you can find this new element here in your elements bar. So you can start looking for number counter and then you will find this element. At this point, you can either click on it, which will add it to the end of the page, or you can drag it anywhere on your site. So when you drag this element on the page, you will see that there is a number and that automatically we also added a label. Now, of course, this is a super flexible. So when you go into the main options, you will see the different options that you have for this element. So you can obviously change the values, but then you can also add elements before and after your number, such as here where I added a plus in the suffix or a uh, dollar sign as the prefix for this number. And then we can have a label or you can also just hide this label. So from here, you can decide to um, show it on the top, on the bottom of your number, both. So if you wanna have text above and below your number, and you can also hide this label completely. Now I'll let you discover the other options of the element because it really is very self-explanatory. But I want to show you how to use this and how not to use this. So first of all, this element will attract a lot of the attention. So you want to make sure that you attract the attention to something you actually want to show off. So you want it to be something that will help with the social proof. So this means that you want to show off the number of customers, number of subscribers, number of five star reviews, anything where a big number would be impressive and that you want to make sure that people see that big number. Now, the way not to use this element would be for important information. So you want to make sure that you don't use this on something like your pricing, for example, because you want to make sure that that information is available immediately and that people don't have to wait. And of course, you also don't want to use this if the number being high is actually a bad thing. So again, with your pricing, for example, you don't want to have a number counting up from zero to uh, 25, for example, because at that point, people are are gonna wonder when this is actually gonna stop and it will have a negative effect on your conversions. Now that being said because you can also set your starting value higher than your end value you can have this counter count down. So if you want to make sure that something goes to zero then you can use this counter element for that purpose also. Now, you also want to make sure that you don't overuse this element because like I said, it will attract the attention. So if everything is moving on your page, it will just be very, very disturbing for visitors and they won't know where to focus their attention on anymore. So make sure to use it sporadically. Now, I hope you like this new element and that you will use it on your landing pages, on your opt-in forms to increase your conversions. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate, leave them in the comments below and if you are an online entrepreneur and you are trying to build that online business then hit subscribe hit that bell because you want to make sure that you're notified when we publish new videos